Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, Martin Noches. Good evening. How are you? How are you, Mr. Santos? Hello, Martin. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Can you hear me, Mr. Santos? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? <clears throat> can you hear me, Martin? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I cannot hear you.
Wait a minute. Santos, you hear me? Hello. All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started because already we're supposed to be finishing the speaking section, section number three. We're going to start with speaking section, intro to speaking section. Listen, please. Sorry, Mr. Santos, can you hear me? Hello. Welcome to our speaking section. In this section, we will go through challenges of speaking, about the speaking section, a type of question, speaking practice. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Hi. Can you hear Mr. Me? Santos? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, hello, Martin. I can hear you now. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hello, Veer. Hello, Freddie. Um, Good evening. Are you ready? Hey, Mr. Santos. I have um, an issue with the platform. What happened? Can't see the video. I can watch the video. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go through the videos right now. Uh, today, this week, we are going to be finishing a sec. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna watch this video real quick. This is just an introduction. I'm gonna put the video for you. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to our speaking section. In this section, we will go through challenges of speaking, about the speaking section, a type of question, speaking practice. Can anybody hear the video? Can you hear the video? Yes, we, yes, yes, I can hear. You can hear the video? Yes, I can hear you too. Can you hear the video? Yes. Welcome to our speaking section. In this section, we will go through challenges of speaking, about the speaking section, a type of question, speaking practice. Okay, so those are going to be some of the topics that we're going to be looking at in this section. One of the biggest challenges about speaking is timing. Becoming fluent will help you deal with it. Fluency refers to speaking with accuracy and natural speed. This is only an introduction to the topics. The speaking section of the TOEFL test measures your ability to convey ideas. Your response should demonstrate effective use of grammar and vocabulary. It should be well-developed and coherent. Well-developed and coherent. Who can tell me what is the meaning of the word coherent? What is the meaning of the word coherent? Something that makes sense. Something that makes sense. For example, can you give me an example? Um, 
Imagine somebody says, uh, what's your name? And you say, my favorite food is pizza. Is that coherent? No, it's not. No, it's not. That's right. So if the person asks you to speak about something, let's say, for example, your weekend activities, uh, your aspirations for the future, then in that case, you have to speak about that topic. Let's listen to the next section. We're now going over the speaking section. We'll go over independent questions one and two. So in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the questions are structured, what they ask, some tips you may take into account, response features, as well as what you will be evaluated on. Finally, we'll also look at a sample question. So here is generally what the questions will look like and how they are structured. For both questions one and two, sometimes you will be given a topic to speak about with additional reading or listening passages. You will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. Question one. Question one will ask you to speak about a person, place, object, or event that is familiar to you. Here's an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. In question two, you will be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. Now here are some Right, we're gonna practice question number two. Pretend with two situations or options, you'll be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it's more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. At this moment, I will give you five minutes to prepare your answer. Five minutes to prepare your answer.
Is everybody ready? Yeah. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put you in pairs and I'm going to give you three minutes to discuss your answers. Three minutes to discuss your answers right now. Let's do it. I'm going to put, uh, let me see, uh, Nidia with beer, Yvette and Maribel, Freddy, Arden, and Jovel will be working together. You will have three minutes. Ready, go. or dessert or, or uh -huh, different kind of food 
el funcionario reiteró que hay una persona que está en la casa. Tengo que preparar la comida o algo así como la comida. Like a uh, and so I have to I have to work. So when when I go to with my friends to a restaurant, I think it's better we we can we can talk more and enjoy the 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 meat or food. Okay, but it's not that option more expensive than having a meeting with them at home. More expensive go to the restaurant, maybe, but, I, but in my case, I don't have a nearly friends. So it's rarely when I go with, with someone, All right, uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what happened, but I was not listening to anybody speaking. Uh, does anybody have any questions about this activity? Do you guys have any questions about the activity? Um, Roberto, can you hear me? Maribel? Yes, I can hear you. Beer? Yes, I can hear you. Ready? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, teacher. Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So at this moment, you're supposed to be um, practicing and answering the question. Right here, yes. some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in a restaurant, in restaurants, or cafes. Others think it's it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. So this is what I want to hear. Okay, I'm gonna set the chronometer for three minutes. This is a speaking activity. I'm going to put you guys in pairs one more time. Let's go. Oh my God, it's a cat. Hello. Hello, hi. 
It's a beautiful cat. Yeah, I have four cats. Oh, wow. Sounds like a collection. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me have one volunteer, please. Share with the class your discussion. One volunteer. Okay, me, Maribel. Okay, Maribel, tell me, what do you think it's better in your opinion? To in my, opi in my opinion, it's better go to a restaurant because I I don't have it, uh, too much friends. Uh, sometimes when I go to someone, mm -hmm. I prefer go to the restaurant because we can we can choice the the food or the dessert, mm -hmm. and I think it's better because. Uh, uh, I don't. I I don't go to a restaurant very, very, very. Oh my God! With, Often, with, usually, I I I I, I don't mean. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh huh. I leave that. All right. Go ahead, Mary Bell. Select somebody. Very good. My my baby, Freddy Opico. <laughs> All right, Freddy Opico. Okay. What's going on, Mr. Freddy Opico? Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> I prefer, well, I like both options, but I prefer spend time in my home because, mm -hmm. well, maybe I'm a little lazy to go out. And I prefer invite to my friend. For example, every weekend mm -hmm. I invite to my uh, invite my friends mm -hmm. to to come uh, to come here, and maybe we can do different activities. For example, we can watch movie, we can listen to music, um, and something like that. Activities, something like that. So in and your... maybe in a in a restaurant, it's good for me. But when it's a, a special day, mm -hmm. for example, a birthday or um, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds real good. And uh, why do you do you like going to restaurants? What kind of restaurants do you like to go to? For example, I like laka laka. Mm. Oh, you like Mexican food? A little bit. Okay, that's great. Uh, select somebody, Mr. Freddy. Well, I want to hear Yvette. Yeah. All right, Ms. Yvette. Uh, well, uh, actually, Yvette is having issues with her audio. Yvette, can you hear us? Oh. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so I don't know what you guys are doing right now. So I was trying to fix the audio in my computer. Explain to her, Freddie. Well, we are talking about what do you prefer? Spend time with your friends in a restaurant or in your house, in your home? I honestly like to spend time with my friends at home. I like to entertain here at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she wants to say hi. <laughs> can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. That's great. That's great. Go ahead, Yvette. Can you select somebody else? Um, I don't know who was chosen before. So, Maribel? No, Maribel already spoke. Somebody else? I don't know who already spoke. Uh, Nidia? Okay, Nidia has not spoken. Nidia, can you tell us? In your opinion, what is better to entertain friends at home or at a restaurant? Uh, okay, I'd rather to go to a restaurant because I think you have more time to talk to the people. Usually when you are at home, the woman has to make many things and cannot be with friends. 
Okay. And I was talking to Vir about yes. I I love but love um, Italian food. Oh really? Yes. And uh, El Rosal, for example, I love. Oh. It's very very quiet, very uh, cozy. So yeah. I like that restaurant, and uh, I can be with my friends and and share with them. But at home, uh, we play music and I have to stand up, go to the kitchen and come with things. And I cannot stay at the, at the, at the conversations. So I, I, I prefer to go to a restaurant. Okay. All right. That's good. That means that you don't have to serve people. You can entertain them more when somebody else is serving and, and you can actually talk with the person. That makes sense. Yes. All yes. right. Nidia, select somebody else. Um, Marden. Okay. Marden Noches. Yes. Okay. Uh, before to start, I want to know about the, the word that you use, Nidia, cozy in a restaurant. What is that? Cozy. A cozy. A cogedor. Cozy. No. Mm -hmm. Well, in my in my personal opinion, um, I prefer to spend time with friends in a in a restaurant mm -hmm. because uh, I don't have troubles, for example, to prepare the dinner or wash the dishes before the no after the after the party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. So if you go to a restaurant, uh, you have the options to can drink whatever you want. So if you have only soda, for example, at the home, at the home, mm -hmm. uh, you can only offer soda. Mm -hmm. But so if some somebody else wants something different to mm -hmm. to drink, they can find in a restaurant or in a bar, for example, mm -hmm. uh, something different to drink. Mm -hmm. So. The the only things I I don't like to choose a restaurant, for example, to scan spend time, is um, sometimes the noise is mm. very difficult where the music is too loud or or, or mm -hmm. the people are talking uh, things. Uh, the, the noise is very difficult to can share, for example, in a special moment with the person or with the friends. That's right. So have the uh, to to have to, uh, what positive positive things and mm -hmm. negative things to kind of go in a restaurant or or try to share at home mm -hmm. that to spend that time. Okay, That's very good, doing. Martin. Thank you for your contribution. Very good, guys. Let us return to the video. Excellent responses. That's what we want to hear. Some specific examples. Number one, use the preparation time to organize your thoughts. Give me just a second, guys. I don't know what's going on with my computer today. And maybe write down... It's weird. some notes. Don't try to write a full response because you won't have time. Also take into account that you need to speak naturally and use common connection words and phrases such as because, so, after that, on the other hand, I what this means is in your response will help you get a better score. Have a clear and fluid have good pronunciation. 
Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural, and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Can everybody hear the use. audio? This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express right, your ideas. And third, okay. topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas, and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. We're now going over the speaking section. We'll go over independent questions one and two. So in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the questions are structured, what they ask, some tips you may take into account, response features, as well as what you will be evaluated on. Finally, we'll also look at a sample question. So here is generally what the questions will look like and how they are structured. For both questions one and two, sometimes you will be given a topic to speak about with additional reading or listening passages. You will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. Question 1. Question 1 will ask you to speak about a person, place, object or event that is familiar to you. Here's an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. In question two, you will be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. Now here are some tips for how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, use the preparation time to organize your thoughts and maybe write down some notes. Don't try to write a full response because you won't have time. Don't memorize responses. Memorized responses will lower your score. They sound different and the content is different. Also take into account that you need to speak naturally and use common connection words and phrases such as because, so, after that, on the other hand, I want to mention what this means is these features in your response will help you get a better score. Have a clear and fluent speech. Have good pronunciation. Natural pace. You will also be evaluated on delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas, and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. anybody have any questions referring to the video does anybody have any questions referring to the video no okay no. let's move on of course let's go ahead and move on we're gonna look at independent questions instructions please listen carefully then you may begin to prepare your response after the beeps. Please begin speaking after the beeps. I'm going to give you some time in order for you to do this activity in pairs, and then we're going to do it together as a class. Ready? Let's go. I have to talk about what? We are going to read um, this passage about some 
about some research um, that indicates that pets are important for a person's mental health. Right here. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your point of view. Include details and examples to support your explanation. Thank you. That one. But you're going to do it in pairs, and then you will record it. In my platform, it's charging right now. So. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put you in pairs. Uh, Freddie, you will be with Veer and Evelyn. Uh, Julia will work with Marden. And um, I'm going to put Veer with Maribel on three. Okay, so we have here Evelyn and Freddy. Freddy, I need you to enter the uh, private session, please. Freddy, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You, you are working with Evelyn Hovell. She's waiting for you. Hello, Freddy. Uh, hello, Evelyn. I think you were working with Freddy, but I think he has Freddy, issues but I think with his computer, so I'm going to change your partner. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to put you with Julia and Martin. Okay. Evelyn, Julia, Marlin, Martin. Play of your point of view, encourage the task, and example. Mr. Presento, is he here? Uh, no. That's right. I'm right here, right. ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Hello. Presento, uh, are we going to explain uh, about our point of view about the importance of the pets for a person with mental health or about the point of view to listen after the listen uh, well first we're going to do the listening and then we're going to do the pets okay, okay. and we going to record in the our or point of view to send to you no 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 at this uh, for this activity no because it's only a practice oh, later okay. on you will have to record yourself okay but not right now teacher yes yeah and in this section in the uh, exam will we will uh, be record uh, not right now. Right now, only listen. No, no, no. But but in the real exam. Oh no 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 no. In the real exam, you're gonna have. Well, it depends. Mm -hmm. If you take the IBT, yes. But if you take the PPT, uh, you're gonna have mm -hmm. a person in front of you listening to you. Uh, it depends okay. which one you take. Okay. So, so Mr. Santos, I have a question. I'm sorry, yeah. but I can uh, share with with you the class of uh, the beginning. But we are prepared to to defend the TOEFL test in English Corporation or in a different place. I think that right now, right now, they're working on it to give the the test there. I think that information we have to ask. Uh, Jonathan, he's the guy that's coordinating the program, so I think that we can ask him tomorrow and he can give us a better answer. Okay. Okay, so prepare, guys. Okay. The way to relax yourself when you get home. They are so excited to see you, and I have one dog. 
and she's really special. She takes care a lot. Of, to, um, she takes a lot of care of my grandma, and she likes to play with me. Just I came home, and she's like all her attention is for me. So I think that that improves your health, mental health, because um, they show you their love and their attention. Yeah, they are beautiful. Yeah. What do you think about what do you think about person that don't like don't like pets? They are. I think that. It, mm -hmm. They are. I am amargado. <laughs> Maybe. Not necessarily, but um, I think people, so, some people like um, other person better than the animals. But um, usually the persons that like animals likes um, the persons and they are more relaxed and easygoing. So I yeah. think that and everybody... I think maybe we are sensitive person, people, we are sensitive people, maybe too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I don't like, I don't like pets like bears or cat, parrots. I don't like them because <gasps> they like are, because they are, because they are, uh, they are small. And mm -hmm. I don't like, oh my God, so tan chiquitito, little bit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. my grandma used to have a parrot and it was really beautiful and big she was big um her name was martina and it was uh quite fun because she learned a lot of words so when someone like my my baby boy because <laughs> <laughs> i don't have children so i'm sorry i just have my my dog and i don't mean well i don't talking about don't like you it. have personal uh, mental health all right it's only a question yes okay so i guess it's yes, very important mm -hmm. and i and i have six chicken and i must say it's everybody oh but female male no, female and male, but, but uh, pollo y gallo. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and change partners. We are going to go ahead and change partners. Continue with the same activity. Change partners right now. Let's go, Yvette and Julia, Evelyn and Roberto, Martin and Veer, Maribel and Nidia. Uh, we cannot hear you, Yvette, I cannot hear you. I can see you clearly, but I cannot hear you. Martin, I need you to go into the all right, very good. Julia, uh, Yvette, you can work with Julia. Well, I think that yes, but I don't know what do you think about it. Mm -hmm. It depends. It depends what type what type of of animal do you have. Okay. And for me, for example, I love my dog. Uh, my dog is like uh, my children, <laughs> maybe oh. because I don't have. Children. Okay. So, <laughs> It's my, it's my boy. Okay. And, and, and when I had a bad day in my work and, and I returned to my house and I feel so happy when, when he is happy with when I arrive. 
for example. Okay. So he's always trying to cheer you up. Yeah. When you feel depressed. Yeah. Okay. Do you have pets? Well, yes, I have pets, but I think that the, we were talking about uh, if pets are helpful when you have a mental condition or a mental disease or mental issues. Uh, that's what I think that we were talking about. Well, in this case, I think that they take out not just for that uh, ability that they do have to cheer you up when you feel depressed. There are a lot of pets that try to cheer you up when they feel that you are in sorrow or that you feel lonely. I mean, every type of pet have they have their way to demonstrate to you that they are with you, that they are part of your life. Even if the way that they do have, it's not just like the way that you like them to do that. As an example, a parrot will try to just like this destroy more things or will try to uh, call you or just like um, attract your attention, not in a just like peaceful way or because most of them are really noisy. I don't know if you have listened to a parrot when they just want to get pets. Have you ever listened to a parrot when they just want to get pet or when they just want food? Everyone? Are you over there? I think she uh, lost her connection. Okay. Cuando hablan de animales, hay frutos así. All right, guys. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and take a couple of minutes, and we're going to be analyzing the next section. Okay. Some research has indicated that pets are important for a person's mental One, please listen Can carefully. Can everybody hear the audio? Some yes. research has indicated All that right. pets are important for a person's mental health. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your point of view. Include details and examples to support your explanation. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. All right, so let's look at the first section. It says, some research has indicated that pets are more important for a person's mental health. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your point of view. Include details and examples for your explanation. Let me have one volunteer, please. Who wants to volunteer? Who wants to share? One volunteer. Julia, go ahead, Julia. Okay. Well, I, I don't have pets. <laughs> 
because I I told to my partner that uh, my husband likes dog, but I don't like it. I like uh, cats, but he hates cats. <laughs> and then uh, we don't have any animal, but I think it's a good idea if, if the person live alone because it is good to share with the pet and in other case uh, if you have a baby or a child a child sorry uh, and the child doesn't have uh, brothers or sister it's a good idea to have a pet mm -hmm. i have a i have an uncle and he has only one boy okay. and the boy uh, enjoys uh, his pet okay. is a, 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 a small dog oh. and now that with the pet is a, a happy person mm. more than before really oh, okay that's yes. excellent all right julia select somebody please Okay. Um, Roberto. Roberto, can you share with us your opinion, please, Roberto? Well, regarding to this question, I think that yes, the the pets always help to people that have issues with their mental health. As an example. The, the experts recommend that to, to people that have severe type of depressions to get a dog or to try to interact ma uh, more with their dogs. Because if you have a dog, there's a lot of responsibilities that you have to fulfill for them. You have to play with them, you have to uh, give them food, prepare them a place to sleep, uh, take them to a walk. And most of times, since that helps you out to get out of your routine, that additionally helps you out since when you try to make them happy, you start to feel better about yourself. That's what I think, what I do think about it. All right, very good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have concluded for today. Your homework will be to continue with the activities and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.